Padres fans, how's it going, everybody? Born AK Hockey here. We are literally 10 days away from opening day baseball in the San Diego Padres season commencing, but we already have some interesting news on top of the Juan Soto injury. Kind of that went under discussed yesterday was that Austin Nola was hit in the face by a Michael Fulmer fastball. Before we get into this video, everybody, again, let's get to 10,000 subscribers. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. We got daily post-game shows coming up in literally less than 10 days from recording this video, so I'm absolutely amped. Let's get right into the video. This is a very important storyline that I think we need to discuss here related to Luis Campisano because is it officially campy time in San Diego? We've seen some pop displayed from Luis Campisano in spring training and it's looking more and more unlikely that Austin Nola is going to start at catcher for the San Diego Padres on opening day because of what? Because of his injury to his face. Now, what does that mean for Luis Campisano? Well, first off and foremost, there is a lot of people in this organization, as reported by Kevin Acey, who are excited to see Campy finally have this opportunity, but we've known that there are a lot of pitchers like you, Darvish, like Blake Snell, that really only like to throw to Austin Nola. Well, they're not going to have a say at this point anymore because they are not going to have Austin Nola. So by default, it's really going to likely be Luis Campisano time. Are they going to mesh? Well, I mean, Darvish, Snell, we saw Musgrove play and pitch with Campisano last year in San Francisco, and it looked pretty good to me. We all know Luis Campisano likely provides more from an offensive output for the San Diego Padres, but again, we know with Austin Nola that there is that camaraderie with the pitching standpoint. This is going to be so interesting. Do the Padres, right? Do the Padres also try and get another catcher on the streets? What do they do with Brett Sullivan? It's going to be interesting. I also want to talk about Bob Melvin and what he has to say about the Luis Campisano situation. Guys, right behind me, as you can see, we have our sponsor, Mantis Sleep. Thank you guys so much for allowing Mantis Sleep to sponsor this video. My life has been absolutely changed with the Sleep Mask, the Manta Mask Pro, the Manta Mask Sound. As you can see, it has Bluetooth connection, the Manta Mask Silk. It's allowed me to tap into REM sleep. So shout out to Mantis Sleep for sponsoring this video, guys. Go to their website. I'll link it in the description and at the pinned comment and use code HOG. That's H-O-G for 10% off. Now, Bob Melvin has kind of been up and down with his sentiment on Luis Campisano saying there's belief in him, but other times saying that he's got to get, you know, better in terms of his approach at the plate defensively. I am just super interested by this storyline the most because if Luis Campisano is producing at the plate and if our starting pitchers are off to a good start, and I'm going to take a hot guess saying that Blake Snell is going to be the opening day starter because of Darvish pitching in the WBC and because of Joe Musgrove's injury, it's going to be Blake Snell throwing to Luis Campisano. And we have heard internally that there isn't a lot of chemistry there, but we are going to see it likely Oh, on Thursday, not this Thursday, but the Thursday after that. So I'm very intrigued by the concepts of that. Friar Faithful, I want you to let Hog know down below what your thoughts are on Luis Campisano being the opening day starting catcher for the San Diego Padres after this Austin Nola injury. Are you bullish on Luis Campisano? Because I think we're really going to see what he is at this point. He's been that top prospect for a half decade now. Well, listen, it's now or never, and it's almost time for opening day baseball. I'm signing out. Peace.